Okay, let's have a look at how we can create this Mr. T with just the outline of letters. It's really quite simple in Affinity Designer. Let's just start a new document. Device doesn't matter. Let's make it transparent. That's what I like. Hold the OK down and there we go. Now pinch it in a little bit so I can see the whole thing. Now I want a decent font, an artistic font. So let's start with, we've got Arial there but I don't want that. What I want is nice big fat one. So Abril Fat Face will do. Fairly common font. Hide that and we've got Mr. T. Now we all remember Mr. T, don't we? Well, I'm sure we do. Now I've got snapping on, you can see down there the little blue line. Let's center that. There we go. Nice and centered. Now, how do I get that to an outline? Easy as. Go up to the colors and you can see the fill is set to black, so let's make that transparent. And you think, oh, oh, nah, but here we are. Here's the outline. Here's our stroke. Let's set the stroke to black and you can very faintly see it there. Now we need that a little bit wider. So we go to the stroke. See that there? Stroke Studio, third down from the top. Easy to find. Little slash across the thing. Looks like a brush tip or something. And it's set at 0 0.5 at the moment. Now what I want to do is drag the slider along. So it's... Hmm, 0.2 maybe, 3, 4.6. Can I make that 4 without it sliding off? No, we don't want 40, but 4. There we go, 4 points. That's all right, and that's the outline. Now you can see that's just straight up letters. Now what I would like to do is go back from all that because um, I want to do something else with it. So let's just back right out of that. There's Mr. T and you can see I just used the symbols down there, left and right, show, do and undo, little arrows. They don't quite fit on my iPad mini screen, but that's all right. So we're back at Mr. T, the text, and that's pretty straight up. That's all we want. Move, oh, let's drag that back into the screen. Jumped out for some reason. Now let's go up here to the top and convert to curves. So that whole Mr. T is now curves. You can see that there, M-R-T, Mr. T. Now I want to highlight all those and do the same thing as I did before. Make the curves black and the center of the fill clear. Now we go back to the curves. Stroke Studio, go back to the stroke if you like. And three points, oh, very delicate at this size. Four points. There we go, there's Mr. T. Now each one's a curve, which means you can do anything almost that you like with those. Really too easy. So now let's just, we've got all those selected and there's a reason for this because what I want to do is merge the curves. So it's still curves, it's not text, it's curves, which means it's SVG. That's the reason you convert the text to curves. Even though you've got the outline, they're not SVG, so you can't modify them on something like Design Space. So here we are, we're all curves. They're all joined back together as one theoretical block, and I want to do something else with them. Let's just hide that for the moment. We'll go to Studio. Pexels will do, and B-E-A-C-H. There's the beach. Let's find a picture of a beach. Now, which one did I use? That one will do. Loads it in. Let's just move it. We'll get rid of that. 
So it's centered over the whole thing now and you can put that wherever you like. That's about center. We don't need to worry about doing anything else at the moment because what we're going to do now is just take hold of that image and drag it halfway. See it's halfway in the center of the other one? Let it go. And there's Mr. T acting as a mask. Isn't that cool? And that's all there is to it. Very nice.